Hello everybody, a random gnome here, and we're back for episode 4. Alright, let's grab this pillow. We got it. Okay, um, I don't know if you noticed in the last three episodes. I'm sure you did. My voice was really quiet compared to what was happening in the game. So, uh, I think that'll be fixed this time around. I'm sorry for what happened. And if you guys missed the last episode, which you probably shouldn't have, and if you have, you should go watch it. But anyways, Glenn here, uh, you know, he went to go to this hotel, or this inn, whatever it's called, and there's a lady trapped inside of one of the motels. So we're gonna go save her right now. Now, will that actually that silence it? I wonder if they... I don't know. I want to look that up later. Because that would be pretty freaking fresh. I don't know. We have a spark plug. Thank you. Alright. Can I get out of here? Oh. Okay, yeah, okay, that would make the... Spark. Spark plug. You should hold on to that. This will make pushing the car heck of a lot easier. But, uh, I'm gonna head over to the truck if I can before I do this. Shit happens. That might be a reference to, uh... No, how it... Unless they're, uh, really close in contact with um the show in it recently cuz this is the first episode and that was in production probably let me see the spark plug but in the show in the um TV show season 3 just started and they go to a uh a prison and there was guys stuck in the prison and uh yeah. He said shit happens. Like, a couple times, I think. But anyways. Let's kill some zombies. That could scramble a brain pretty good. That's exactly what I was thinking. Alright. Uh, push the car. Yeah, let's go this way first. Maybe I should have went the other way first. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go. Um, probably push that car, and then stab that guy. Not that guy, but that zombie. And take the axe, and then just go on a rampage, cause that's how real men do it. Yeah, I don't know why he froze there for a second after the cutscene. Not really cutscene, but the movement. All right. Here we go. Oh no. Oh no. Watch out. Ooh, mama. Yeah, that was so awesome at three miles per hour. Alright. I should be able to... What? Oh, okay. Well, anyways. Yeah, 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 yeah. I guess I was supposed to do that first. So hopefully we can take out this zombie, maybe? Or just run past it. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, there should be, yep, a zombie. Let's kill it. Slow walk in. Slow talk in. Right in the dome. Oh! Okay. <laughs> get him! That's a woman, he said him. Nice. Thanks for having my back. For sure. Just 
cut him up. Dude, where'd your weapon go? Into that ice big sized hole. <laughs> Holy shit. It's cool. Now we've got this. Are you two done? Just about. Two more. That should help. Let's -a go. <laughs> Walking like a goon, even though I'm gonna cut him up real smooth. Why don't you guys lag behind just in case this goes to hell? Okay, we'll be right behind you. Spooky. I really don't even think he needs to be cautious just because I think they can smell him. <laughs> I don't know, maybe not. Click, click, bang. Oh, Jesus. Rad. Every time I do something, he always says something like, Rad, cool, sweet. Alright, let's get this lady out of here. Save her life. Hello in there. We're here to help. Please just go away. Let's go, guys. In a minute. If you open up, we can take you somewhere safer. We've got a group in town. No, no, no. Please. She's in trouble. No. Miss, we're coming in. Okay, let's get in. Coming out. You're hurt. Oh God. I, I said stay away. We need to get you help. It's too late for that. Guys, she's been bitten. What? I told you. I said go away. I'm bit. But you wouldn't just leave. Let's calm down. You could be fine. I won't be fine. My boyfriend was bitten. You get sick and you die and, and you come back and you kill anything you can find. You have a boyfriend? When? <laughs> I don't want that. It's not Christian. Please. Just leave me. Please go. What if you turn and follow us back to our group? I know. That was why I Oops, was Oops. I didn't mean away. to do that. Can't let this happen to me. That was a messed up choice to say. You have a gun. So can I borrow it? What do you mean borrow? Give it to me. I can just, you know, end this and then, and then there's no problem. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Please. I don't want to be one of them. They're they're satanic. <laughs> satanic. I'm gonna say give it to her because give it to her. what? Can't be when I'm playing this game, no. anything that can combat against, uh, you know, maybe getting Clementine hurt, Look at her, Carly. There's no happy ending to you this. can't go with that. Okay. And, Fine. considering, why would she want to be, like, a zombie aimlessly walking around a room? She probably won't remember it when, like, her past life when she's a zombie, but Thank still, you so much. suffering like that, walking around in a room. We can't watch this. Just put her out. Let's go. We can't go yet. What? Why not? Because somebody needs to pick up the gun. Can't leave it. You two go on. Okay. I'll watch like a man. Sure. Yeah. I'm here with you. I'm here with you. You're a good man. Just one bullet. Oh my Christ. I don't know if you can hear those dogs. They will not stop. They will just not right? stop. Yeah, we had Hold some on. Alright, let's we get back into the action. Well, yeah. We're okay. I've got a few cans of gas for your pickup in the trunk of my car. 
Good to hear it. And things back here? <sighs> Quiet. Our friend is still in and out over there. He won't survive any more stress. The next order of business is getting those pills out of the pharmacy. Sounds like a plan. Um, what I'm going to do is actually turn down these. Now I'll probably keep up music, but sound. There's a lot of ambient noises. I'm gonna turn up here. Oh, I thought this button would like let you hear it. Guess not. Like hear the setting that you have it on. But yeah, that sounds like a good plan because the ambient noises are kind of loud. Like I don't know if you heard it when Kenny was talking. It wasn't. It was we way just louder. We need to get back to Fort Lauderdale. We'll do our damnedest. All right, screw it. Uh, I'm gonna keep it how it was, but just turn down the sound. Keep the sound where it is. Cause yeah. All right. Did I give Duck an energy bar last time? I think I did. I'm gonna go get an energy bar and give it up to Clementine. You having a little trouble with this what radio? What with there? A radio. I can't get it to work though. Here, let me have a look. <laughs> oh wow, no what a doofus. What now? Do you know that there are no batteries in that thing? Yeah, of course. I mean, yeah. No. I can try to find some. Needs two. Thanks. I wouldn't even really know what to look for. What? She's like a 35-year-old reporter I get some rest. that probably How deals with technology with on a regular basis. Can't handle. Just can't handle looking for a battery pretty odd. I don't think the batteries would be in here because it seems like everything in here is just going to be... Ooh, a remote. Is that what that is? Oh, no. I'm cool. Not much of an appetite. Maybe save it for one of the kids? Yeah. I wasn't going to give it to you anyways. It would be a nice gesture, but you would give it to Lily. I would give it to Larry, even though he's not very nice. But he's feeling down in the dumps. Could have helped them out there. Can't give her one? Is there anything I haven't checked? Because there might be, uh, you know, batteries around here. Let's break this door down. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, I don't think the battery's in here. Let's go back outside. Do ya voodoo, bitch? Alright, let's go. Greeting cards, photographs, nothing I want. Alright. How we doing? Good. Wanna go have a look around outside? I mean, that's cool that he wants, like, to go outside, let's but he gives, like, around. a smirk face okay. <laughs> that makes it look like he's gonna, like, murder me or something. I don't know. Alright. Could break this, this lock. Hey man, what are you doing? We can't even think about going out there unless the keys are out there for sure. Uh. Trapped walker. That guy over there has the keys. How can you be sure? I found this in the office. That boy in the photo worked here. The keys being on him is as good a bet as we can make. Yeah, I agree. Just need to figure out how to get out there and get them. You wouldn't need long, right? Nah, just a few seconds. Maybe there's a way to distract them and buy you some time. Alright, let's turn on these TVs with that remote I got earlier. Hopefully they will turn on, maybe not. Think you can do anything with this? You know what I could do? What's that? Shove it up your ass. Alright, right, let's see. I could program it to work with those TVs across the street. Just hope the power is still on. You can just do that? Well, I memorized all the codes when I was in AV. Let's try. 
How do you memorize all the codes? Have you ever seen one of those universal remote lists? There's like... Well fucking done, Doug. <laughs> all that dork nonsense might save a life. Dork nonsense? It already hasn't. I got a few of them to take notice. But not enough. True that, player. Alright, maybe we can break it now. Oh yeah. Awesome. Now to distract those things. Carefully. Let's get this brick. brick. Come on, you gotta open it. Your own damn self. Gimme, give gimme give that. Yeah, let's... Does he have a good enough hand? <laughs> oh. I thought he was going to break the TV to make, like, a shatter sound for the TV, but the glass was holding back some of the noise. Alright, let's get out of here. Oh. I was confused. I thought I could move, but no. Be careful. Keep an eye out, will you? That he did him in like that. It's probably the worst way he could have done it. Hitting the neck. Because he probably could have got one fatal hit to the head, but now he has to suffer hitting his brother over and over. Almost I can go to the head now. No, I just have to keep. S oh, there we go. He could have done that one fatal swipe. And that was bro, man. Don't cry. Hey, bud. <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> that's just that was that's actually kind of funny, but go. it shouldn't be that achievement. Holy crap! Run! I like how uh, none of them knew until he yelled. If he could have just said, "Come on, let's go," but he literally yelled. Nobody knew, and all the zombies got to me. Man, that was close. But we did it. It's all that matters. Truth. I've got the keys. Great. God, you're amazing. Let's get in there. Time to save a mean old man's life. Oh no. Oh, shit. We gotta hurry. What? Oh god, oh man.
You better watch out. The slowest zombie in town's coming for you. Oh, <laughs> never mind. There's more where that came from. Doc, come on, baby, time to go. I'm gonna get the truck pulled up round right back. Do it fast. I gotta get my dad out of here. I don't plan on dilly dallying. Honey, take Duck into the office and barricade the living hell out of the door behind me. Glenn, when you hear me honking in the alley, start getting people out of here. You got it. Doug, Carly, and Lee, you guys make sure our defenses stay up till then. And Lee, I better take that axe in case I run into any of them on the way to my truck. Here you go. Guys, that door's not locked anymore. Shit. You three, get on it. I'll get back as fast as I can. Stay away from the windows. Wait. Okay. Hey Lee, if we don't make it through this, you should know that I think you're a great guy. We'll make it, through, we'll this. Make it through this. Doug, if we don't make it through this, you should know. I love you. I should know what? Huh? You said I should know. Shit. <laughs> On it. Are you sure? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Okay then. Clementine, can you look for something to stick in between the handles? Something real strong, okay? Okay. Clementine, did you find anything? Nothing. Wait. A window is screwed. Go. Oh God. Time to choose. Who do you want to live? Uh. Oh, uh, come on. Come on. I played this game before and I chose Carly. And I want Carly again just because she's a good shot. Oh. Uh, okay, good. I, th I thought it was going to be like, oh, they're both dead. There's nothing you can do. That would suck. Oh, I have to watch this cutscene again? Get out of here. I'll resume when it's over. Alright, round two. We're going to choose Doug. I'm so sorry, Carly. I've already played with you, and I want to see how Doug goes. I'm sorry. Oh. Holy! Let's go. They got Carly. Doesn't matter. You gotta move. Oh God. Whoa there, boy. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. <laughs> I'm not letting somebody else get eaten today. Especially Thanks, bro, a good man. Friend. You see, when you start playing this, like at the beginning of the game, I totally thought Kenny, I would hate him just because he left the dude at Herschel's farm. But he's actually a really cool guy. That's right.
Alright guys, uh, I think it's long enough and thank you guys for watching and we will continue this let's play and see what all that racket was about. Thank you guys and see you later.